Hello, everyone. Welcome to our series of Depth Insight teaching videos. This video will introduce the workflow of data management and well management. Next, I will introduce these two parts in order: data management and well management. Double left click on the Depth Insight icon to open the software main interface. Select database setting to choose the connection. We can use the native database or other machines database by giving the right IP address. Click on the project management. We can see the already saved projects and their corresponding survey area coordinates. Select New to create a new project. Fill in the project name and specific coordinates. If we are not very sure about the exact coordinates, we can refer to the survey area of the corresponding model. Open the structural model. The properties pane will show the range of the survey area. After setting the project information, save the project. Now open the created project. So now this is the interface of data management module. First, choose load well data to activate the data importing function. Then select import well data. On the left side of the dialog box, it shows the different types of well data supported by Depth Insight. First, import well head. Select the well head file. We can preview the file information on the right of the dialog box. The internal data fields must be consistent with the external data column position. If they are not consistent, modify them manually. Otherwise, the file cannot be imported successfully. Select Apply to import. The second step is to import well trajectory. Select the corresponding well trajectory file. Click Apply to start.
import well tops. Select well top cells. Click Apply to start. Import well logs. If internal data fields don't contain the keywords of the external files, we need to define them. Because there are discrete attributes and continuous attributes in the files, here we choose Define Reservoir Properties. Open the dialog. Add attributes. Tick the box of discrete attribute, then save it. Import well logs. Make the internal data fields be consistent with the external data column position. If the files of well logs contain invalid values, we can fill it in the invalid value box. The software will automatically filter invalid values while importing well logs. Click Apply to start. After importing well data, we can check the imported well data. The above is the method of importing well data in depth domain. If we need time domain well data, then we can convert it in the seismic service node. The relationship between depth domain data and the time domain well data are shown as follows. Import well TD file and select DT conversion. Then the time domain well data can be obtained. Create new seismic survey. Set the domain type and the seismic datum.
import while td fail. Then conduct TD conversion. Select the well data to be converted and confirm. We need to know that depth domain data and time domain data both exist in the database. We can select which one to use according to our demand. Open TD Relationship Manager. We can check the relationship between depths and time of well tops. After importing well data, open the corresponding structural model. We can see the default seismic datum plane is zero. Then switch to the well management module. Set database information to connect the well management to the created project in the database. Click OK. Now the seismic datum plane in structural modeling module is consistent with that in the database. Set the domain type before loading well data. If we need to load depth domain data, then switch to depth domain in the properties pane. Here we choose the default type, time domain. Pay attention not to check in words time or depth values when loading data. Load well pass. Close the horizons for better observation. Load well tops. Select the logging curl to be loaded. Load well logs. This data loaded into a well management module can provide support for other application modules. Well logs can be loaded several times for different types such as AI, GR, and lithologies. But there is only one current curl at one time. If, so if we want to use a certain kind of logging curve, then we need to set this curve to the current curve. After loading well data, save the model. 
and when we open the model next time, the well data will still exist, and we don't need to load them from the database again. The above is the workflow of data management module and well management module. For deep learning, you can refer to the special topics of the user guide. It will further introduce some specific operation method and parameter settings. Thanks for watching, and here is our contact information. Please contact us if you have any problem.